what is full stack web development? Let me clarify to you a few terms so that we start with a common understanding of full stack web development as applied in this specialization. We often hear people talking about the front end and the back end. The front end is where we are delivering the content to the user, typically in a browser where the user accesses the information. And this is where we use uh, technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to render the content for the user. This um, information delivery is supported behind the scenes by a backend support, which is typically implemented these days using technologies like PHP, uh, Java, ASP.NET, Ruby, Python, or Node.js. We often hear people talking about the three-tier architecture for web development. In this approach, the entire web application is organized into three different layers. The presentation layer, which is concerned with delivering the information to the user. So this is usually the UI related concerns that are dealt with at the presentation layer. The business logic layer, on the other hand, is concerned more about the data, the data validation, the dynamic content processing, and generating the content to be delivered to the user. This is backed up behind the scenes with the data persistence layer or the data access layer. So this is concerned with how we store and interact with the data, typically in the form of a database, and access this data through a, an API. Exploring this further, let us see what is implemented typically in the traditional web development in each of these three layers. The business logic layer is usually implemented these days using technologies like Ruby, Python, PHP, Java, C++, or ASP.NET. This um, business logic layer is interacting behind the scenes with the persistent data typically stored in a relational database and uh, accessed by the business logic layer. The business logic layer is also concerned with the rendering of information to the front side, typically in the form of server-side rendering these days. So the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is generated on the server-side and then sent over to the client-side in the form of a web page. In this approach, we need specialists in each of these three layers. So a front-end specialist typically would be um, well-versed in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The um, business logic uh, specialist would be well-versed in one of the technologies uh, that is used for implementing the business logic. And then you need a data uh, specialist who will be well-versed in the relational database management system. There is an increasing trend towards using a single language to implement the entire stack, this being JavaScript. So you could have the front end implemented, for example, as a single page application using frameworks like Angular or React. You have the server side uh, or the business logic layer being implemented using technologies like Node.js, which is also dependent on JavaScript. And then you have the data storage itself being implemented using technologies like MongoDB, which stores data in the form of JSON documents. And the information exchange between the server side and the client side is usually done uh, using JSON as the format. And the server side supports a REST API uh, endpoint. We will cover all these technologies as part of this specialization. So as you go through this specialization, you will see that on the presentation layer side, we will cover Bootstrap 4 and Angular or React for implementing front-end applications. Then on the, at the business logic layer, we will be using Node.js and Node.js modules and uh, uh, Express for implementing the business logic layer. We'll also consider uh, backend as a service and then the data support implemented using MongoDB.